Auzubillahiminashaitanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back students to mechanical CAD application class Now let us take the drawing which is seen on the computer screen that is parallel block Let's try to draw it using SOLIDWORKS This is again on page number 37 of your textbook Interpreting Engineering Drawing Now there are many methods of doing we are still in the initial stages so I am not using the advanced options I am just showing you the simple building of this drawing by using extruded boss base and then again extruded cut these are the two commands which we are using actually okay apart from establishing the relationships and fixing the drawing okay now let us either I can go from this side or this side from any side you can start let us go from this side it is a bit easier see here it is just like this. I will try to draw this picture. Okay. Let's go to SOLIDWORKS. Now you have to go and click on this arrow. If you go near the arrow, you will see file. Then click on new. You will see part highlighted. Open it. It has opened now. Let's go to sketch. Smart sketching. The moment you go here, you have the can see front, top and say, let me take this right side plane. Okay. Now I have the plane here. Let me just go and click on this line. Just I will come from here. I will just let me just go back and have a look how it is. It is like this. Okay, fine. So now I will just go back. I will just go like this. Come down. Up. Let's keep them straight. That's all. No problems. Just go here. Then go up to this point, then go here, then let us see what else I need to do. Yeah, I have to again go up, fine. So now I will go up, then I will come here, come down, go up, up, come and click here. The moment I close, everything will become grey. If I have not closed, then it will never become grey. Now, escape. Fine, now you have this drawing. So, now let's try to establish the relationships. Okay. What do we want? We want this. So let's go back and see the drawing first. This is 15. This is 15. This means what? They are equal sizes. This, this is equal. This, this is equal. This and this is equal. And all these three lines are horizontal. Okay. Yani it is a symmetrical drawing. Let me just go back, establish the relationships. What are the relationships? This line, shift, this line, both of them are, what's it? Uh, no, not coincident. Let me just cancel it again. Let me just go this line, shift, this line. Why it is not showing me? I don't know why it's not showing me. Just hold on. This let me take this line and then again shift this line. Both of them are parallel and equal. Okay, done. Even these lines are this one, shift this one, and this one. If I keep them parallel, okay, and then click OK, fine. Even this line, this line, this and this along with this you just click and say all of them should be parallel okay so we are establishing the relationships fine so now what else is there let me just go back to the drawing see this one this one this one they are in the same line okay so let me just go back this line shift this line and this line they are collinear. See, the moment I say collinear, it became in the same horizontal line. Okay, done. So now let me just increase the size a little bit. This one, shift this one. They should be equal. Okay. If I do establish the relationship in one place, I put the size, it will fix in all the places. Okay. This one and shift this one have we yeah they are horizontal only so now let's say uh, just a minute let me uh, what is this relationship 
let me just go there it is horizontal relationship i'll just go click on this one i right click and i will delete i don't get horizontal let me get rid of this even this also let me get rid of horizontal so what i will do is this one shift this one i will make them collinear and equal okay fine now what else is there this is vertical this is vertical and they are equal done now let us see what is the size of this one let's just go here let's start to put the size this is 15 and the height is 16 here is it not 15 15 and then height is 16 from this end to this end it is 55 okay so let's try to fix the dimensions now smart dimension from here to here it is how much 55 Okay, okay, smart dimension from here to here it is how much? It is 15. Enter, see. Oh, see when I make this and this is not equal. So, first establish the relationship. It will be easy for us. We need to make dimensions. Okay, click on this one, shift on this one, make them equal. Now, see the size has changed. Okay. Now what is the center one? The center one is not really sure because he did not give. This size he has given. This is 7, this is 7. Okay. <clears throat> Let us just go back. First establish the relationship between this, shift this. Both of them are equal. Okay. okay. And now let me just go to smart dimension. What is the dimension between this line and this line between them? This is, I am taking it as sub 7, enter. Okay, click OK, fine, done. So, now I need to fix this height. Let me see what is the height here. The height is Sitash, 16, okay. Let me just go here, smart dimension between this line and this line, this is Sitash 16, 16, enter. See, the size became small. Correct. Now, let's see what is the height. The total height is how much? 50. Okay, let's just go fix it. 50. And then this is how much? This is 18. 18, is it not? Yeah. So, now let me just go line from where? From here to here it is. Eighty, enter. Let me make sure whether it is eighty. La la. Say it is fifty. It is not eighty. Let me just go back here. Click on this one. Anyway, first let yeah, fifty, enter. So now, what else is needed? Now I have to fix for this one and this one. So what was that size? I forgot actually. Eighteen, eighteen. Okay. Let me just go. Draw smart dimension between this line and this line. It is how much? Tamantash, that is 18. See, since you have established the relationship, both of them became equal. Okay. Do you need to find this one? No need. Because from here to this end, it is already there, 55. This is 18, this is 18, is it not? So, if you define this, you can see the color will become yellow. See here. I will just take the distance between this and this. See, it became yellow. You are over defining it. You should not do it. Okay. If you are over defining it, any dimensional change will conflict with already fixed dimension. You have 55 here. It is 18. This is also 18. Any 36. 55 minus 36 is this dimension. No need to tell it there again. Okay. Now, what else I need? I need, I think, I need this dimension. Yes. So, let me just go between this point and this point. How much is this? I don't know how much is that. Let me just go to the picture and see what is the depth here. The depth here is Saba. Okay. Let me just go make it 7. Enter. See. The size became alright. Say okay. Now see your picture has completely become 
black except one thing so this line is there see when it is blue this means it can be manipulated that's the main thing we only said equal is it not and what else is there here i can't see it and let me just make it linear if i make this one and shift this one collinear then obviously nobody can play around i will say yes see now they became black okay everything became black now you can see okay if it is blue means what you can play around with it that is the point okay let me just go back and let me do undo and let me show you how it can be played around okay i made undo see it is black is it not? i can hold and pull like this. see here do you see how it is moving around if it is blue color this can be done like this that's why we say please fix it okay so what shall i do now i will just go click on this shift click on this make it collinear see when it is collinear they are in the same line now nobody can play around see here it can't move around just it's fixed means your dimensions are completely fixed and your picture is well defined okay everything is defined no dimension just click the center mouse button turn like this whichever way you want see it is there okay now what do i want i will say okay now i will go to features and smart dimension see here boss base extrude any direction you want you can extrude let us just go here and see what is the total length total length is 100 is it not let's just go put 100 here the moment you put 100 here and say okay see you are already done click on this one it's done see if you want you can change the view type display type see it's perfectly done isn't it this yellow line i mean blue color is showing you what the blue color is showing you that your sketch is on this plane actually okay and here what command you executed it is shown here see boss extrude one this is the first extrusion you did it if you click here you will see the sketch here see the moment i click on the sketch you will see all the dimensions here understand let let, let me not disturb it now this is what i have now now let me go back to the picture what else i need now i need to make a hole in the middle this is what i need to do now okay <clears throat> and then do i have to do anything yes first of all i need to cut down this much what is this length uh, do you see here so this is our 100 out of 100 this is 15 is it not 15 plus 15 means 13 30 means this center this is 70 70 by 55 isn't it 70 by 55 i will make it and cut down by 15 let me go back to the picture first now what i will do i will select the top line top line select and then sorry escape first escape okay now let me just uh, uh, where is my that's fine i'll just go here no issues i'll change it to like this now i will select this plane i will select here it has become like this now what i need to do now i will make it small then i will draw a rectangle two point rectangle just let me draw it here a rectangle like this say okay what is this length 15 15 is going to mean this is 17 and this is 55 okay let me go here smart dimensions between this line and this line it is how much 17 70 okay click ok and then what else i need i need this dimension from where from here to here it is how much sorry something went wrong let me just fix it again between this line and this line what is this dimension 55 55 enter okay now say okay now what i will do i will can you can see it is a blue color it can be manipulated okay i can hold here and pull and push so many things i can do here see here so what i will do now i will escape now i will catch the center point of this see here i will catch the center point now you can see here what i have caught and what are the lines connected with it everything is taken shift 
I will go here and I will look for the center point here. See, it is shown here, isn't it? I will click on this one and I will make it coincident. See, now it is coming back there. I will say yes. Now you can see it is completely black color, is it not? It is completely black color means my picture is well defined. Now let me go back here. So how much I need to cut? I will cut down by stash so that I will first create this hole okay and then remember again in the bottom also I need to do I need to do from the bottom also that we will see afterwards first let me cut here okay uh, how do I go now go back I will just go to features what should I do I have to cut is it not extruded cut can this one I don't know the arrow is down or up put the Cursor key, I mean your wheel of the mouse, press it, drag it, turn it. It is going through all. I don't need through all. How much do I need? Let's go back to the picture and see. I need to go down only by hamstash. Okay, so what I will do, I will just go back. I will just click here. Highlight this one. I will make hamstash. Okay, only this much. Okay, okay. Now I have cut this much. So this blue line is showing me what? That my rectangle is on this plane actually. That's what it means. Now press the mouse. Just move around. See, you have a good thing, you know. Now just press the space key. Just select whichever way you want this one. No, no, no problem. I mean, so I will click on this one. Oh, sorry, I will escape. I will click on this surface and I will make it vertical I mean facing normal to the computer screen so now here what I need to do I need to cut a hole in the center is it not how, what do I need now I need to cut a hole how do I cut the hole let me go back to my picture and see I need to cut a hole here what is the size of this hole the size of this hole is this side is 10 this side is 10 and what about this side this is 12 12 plus 12 is how much 24 okay if I remove 24 what I have what I have if I remove 24 uh, 15 and 15 this is 30 so uh, here I have got 74 is it not out of 74 I am removing 24 means I am left with how much 50 this is 50 and this side 10 is gone this side 10 is gone any out of 55 20 is gone means 35 35 by 50 okay let me just go here make a sketch go to sketch draw a rectangle like this say okay what should be smart dimension between this line and this line it is click here and make it 35 enter click right sign and then again I have got what again I have got smart dimension from here to here it is 50 correct it is 50 I clicked it say tick mark so I have this one so now I need to move this one and fix it somewhere in the center how do we fix it in the center now let me just go here select this rectangle uh, click on this one oh, sorry Click on this one and then shift. Click on this line where it where is the center? The center is here, isn't it? Just click on this one and then make it as coincident. So it has already shifted. Okay. Fine, no problem. It has shifted, but what I need to do, I need to shift it further. Okay. So how do I need to shift it further? I will draw, I will say, 
and say okay now let me go back to my picture so this is how much this is 10 this is 12 is it now so what i will do is i will draw a rectangle now just hold on i will just go here draw a rectangle rectangle of size how much take this smart dimension between this and this it is how much it is 10 okay and then smart dimension again between this and this it is how much 12 okay 12. i will say okay now what i will do i will take this one click here shift i'll just go here click here i will make them coincident okay now I have this. I will say okay. Now I have the reference point. I will just remove this relationship. Here, what did you do? You made coincident, is it not? Just get rid of this coincident. I don't want this because it will never move out. See? Now your rectangle is there. It is blue color. So what I will do? I will take this point, click on this, shift, click on this, and make them merge. See here, merge. Oh, you got it. Okay. Now what do I need now? Now I am struck over here. That's excellent. Fine. No problems. Do I need to do anything with this one? I will not do anything with this. Now I need to cut a hole direct. Okay. So now I will just go to features. Extruded. Cut. Which one? See here. If I come over here, it is changing the color. Is it? But I only select this. Is this clear? I just click here. I have only selected this. So now you see here what does it say? Sketch 3 region 1. So this is the one which is selected. This is the one which it is going to do the cut. So what do I need? I need to make a whole other tool. Right. So what I will do now? Through all I will simply say. I will just say I will go there. I will say through all. Understand? Just move. The, so see yeah, the direction of the arrow is down. Say yes. If I made it. Okay. So what about this picture? It is there. Let it be there. Uh, no, I don't care. Okay. So now I have cut a hole here. So now what else I need now? Just press the escape key. I mean uh, space bar and then you will have it here. No, I, didn't li I don't like it. So uh, just move, move around like this. I want this side. No, I don't need it. This way is okay for me right now. Let it be there. Now go back. Now what do I need now? I need to cut a hole here, isn't it? I have to cut a hole tool like this. What is the size of this hole? This side is 25. This side is 25. Yani you have got Hamsin. Out of 100, Hamsin is gone means this is 50. What is the height of this one? The height of this one is already there. Sitash. Okay. So what I will do now? I will go select this face. See? Select this face. And then right click, select it, normal. So you are here. Now you are ready now. So what I will do now, I will just make a sketch. What do I need now? Two point rectangle. I will just take it. Say OK. Smart dimension between this line and this line. Just go here. How much is this? I'm seeing. Enter. Okay, what about this height? This height is Sitash. So go back, make it Sitash between what? Between this and this, make it Sitash. Enter. Done. So now you have a rectangle. Just take this rectangle to this surface. Okay, where on this surface? Understand? So I will take from where I will catch on this one from where where is the midpoint of it escape it please just keep when it is becoming orange color go here say i selected this now press shift don't go here you have to go here on this line say where is the midpoint just see somewhere you will find it i uh, hey, i did not get it just a minute now let me do it again escape click on this go near Here, shift, come on this line, 
somewhere I want it somewhere here right see here I have click on this one now what I have to say now I have to make it as coincidence see it's already gone there now press tick ok now see everything is back now ok so now what I will do just press the mouse button just go there see it is hanging the plane you can see the plane because we selected the surface ok so now the plane is hanging over here now what we will do we will go to features extruded cut now see the direction is showing there just pull it down you can pull it and leave it or simply say see when you say like this it is through all on both sides we don't want that let it be through all only on one side it doesn't matter okay say okay see now this is showing where your picture is i mean where your drawing is understand it is on this plane not on this plane now see you did your job it's looking reasonably good okay this is what you have got in your drawing also see here you have a hole here you have something in the bottom and as i said dimension i am not doing right now so already i showed you in two three drawings hidden lines everything see perfectly nice it is coming okay so now i will go and save as what's the name of this I will go and save it as parallel block. In the next drawing, I will show you how to write this parallel block also. We can emboss it on the surface. All those things are there. Okay, I will show you later. P A R A L L E L. Okay, parallel block part P R T. Okay, because this is in uh, SolidWorks. Save. Now it is completely saved. Okay. Thank you very much for watching the drawing.